For years now, I have slowly been going insane, questioning reality itself. Was Bloodborne ever real? Was it all some sort of... Dream? <laughs> Maybe it's all just my uh, crippling caffeine addiction. If it was real, Sony would have surely mentioned Bloodborne's existence by now, right? It's been, like, how many years? I don't even know, like, fucking, what, like, seven, maybe? And then, it happened. I woke up today, this morning, which means yesterday, by the time you're seeing this video, and Sony tweeted out this. Now, from the moment this tweet went live, people were very confused as to which PlayStation game cover this, uh, image was of. Like, what is that? What game could that be? So, I took it upon myself to put in the blood, sweat, and tears. I put in those hours, the, the work, the hard work to analyze this image. I grabbed my magnifying glass and I counted each and every single pixel in this uh, image they tweeted out here. And looked at hundreds upon hundreds of other images of each PlayStation game cover. And I finally came to the conclusion that this is, in fact, the cover of Bloodborne. I know, who would have guessed? This looks so so vague and weird. After doing the work of God and making my revolutionary discovery, I release this information into the wild and let Bloodborne fans everywhere know that this is, in fact, Bloodborne, and they, they were bloodthirsty. Obviously, Bloodborne started trending as it does, like, every other week, and eventually, Sony deletes the tweet. They fu- <laughs> They- They fucking deleted the tweet. <laughs> seven years seven fucking years we have been waiting for something bloodborne related to be released from the snout of sony and we finally get it and it's a fucking pixelated image and we can't even have that that shit is fucking li they literally took that from us you know what I, i'm not i'm not i'm not even talking anymore i'm fucking done dude i'm, I'm done i'm fucking done forget it Forget it, the game doesn't exist, it never fucking did.